Hey, what's up guys and welcome to my channel, Living in Fort Lauderdale. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a very important topic and very common uh, question we get, and that is about safety. Uh, so we're gonna be talking about five of the safest cities to live in all of Florida, so stick around for that. Uh, my name's Rob Zioli, I'm a realtor right here in South Florida, and if you're looking for a channel that's gonna show you everything you need to know about moving to, living, playing, and all about the real estate market right down here in South Florida, then this is definitely the channel for you so don't forget to subscribe to it and tap the notifications if you want to be notified anytime i go ahead and put out a new video um, i put out uh, weekly videos about everything uh, having to do with south florida but more than that guys i am a licensed real estate agent and what i love more than anything is helping people just like you with their real estate needs and we're getting calls every single day from people just like you from all over the country that are looking to make that move down here to south florida so if you have any questions at all about the market about any of the cities and obviously uh buying a house uh, then reach out to me 24 7 by text email uh, all my information is down below and you could just reach out any way that you like communicating and i look forward to getting back to you and showing you around town and helping you with your transition to south florida and without further ado let's dive into today's video five of the safest cities in the state of florida so absolutely one of the common if not the most common question we get from people that are looking to relocate is about neighborhoods and safety and you know a common request is we just want um a house in a nice neighborhood a safe neighborhood or something to that nature um and it's obviously a great question especially for someone that does not know uh, the area maybe they've been here a couple of times or maybe they've never been here and um, that's definitely a common request you want to be in a, a good area a safe area now unfortunately as a realtor that's one of the hardest questions to answer because um, professionally and ethically we're not really uh, supposed to be choosing or comparing um, neighborhoods or ref um, recommending one over the other to a consumer um, so uh, we can only go so far as to what we could say about it but what we usually do is um, guide someone towards any of the information or public sites that provide data and they crunch all the numbers and give you all the ratings as far as a certain area and then you're going to compare and contrast and try to kind of um, narrow it down uh, to what you're looking for now as you go through the process you know and uh, figure out you know where you're going to be commuting to and how far you want that to be and also uh criteria as far as a house and price range it's going to really uh, tailor that down and kind of narrow down the search. And then from there, you're gonna compare uh, different areas to try to come up with uh, the perfect match for you. Um, now, kind of as a rule, and I think it's a very, very good idea, when we meet someone after the initial uh, meeting, we think it's a very, very good idea to go out or for the buyer to go out on their own without us to some of these neighborhoods to drive through them, you know, maybe uh, different times of the day just to get a feel and try to see what you think of the neighborhood and if it kind of fits what you're looking for. Uh, you can crunch the numbers all day and compare data. And a lot of times when it comes to data out there, um, you know, I say it all the time, if you look at it too, uh, too much or really, you know, torture it enough, you can really get it to say whatever you want. So there's nothing that's going to, um, you know, replace being here physically Physically and going through the neighborhoods. I've had it work both ways where there were some areas that I thought were going to be perfect for someone and they just drove through it and knew right away that was not for them and vice versa that you know the other way around so uh, nothing will beat you being down here getting boots on the ground and going and driving through uh, some of these particular areas to really uh, make your final decision. So for purposes of this video and most of these sites out there the way they rank it and this information comes from the FBI now the way these cities are ranked are the total number of crimes and law enforcement uh, officials per 1,000 residents residents and the crimes are um, categorized in two categories one are violent crimes and the other is a uh, property crimes so violent crimes would be something committed against an individual whether it be a uh, murder a uh, manslaughter robbery rape or something like that and property crimes would be um, grand larceny um, burglary uh, motor vehicle theft arson things of that nature so just for comparison and with the stats we're going to discuss in this video the national estimated crime rate in a year was nearly 370 violent crimes and almost 2200 property crimes per 
100,000 residents. In other words, that's about four violent crimes and 22 crimes per 1,000 residents. Now, for each city, the violent crimes, property crimes, and law enforcement numbers are per 1,000 residents in a year's time. So let's jump into the cities. Now, number one in the list for the lowest crime rate in all of Florida is going to be Satellite Beach. So Satellite Beach is located on the east coast of Central Florida in Brevard County and voted as the number one place to live in all of Brevard County. Now Satellite Beach gets their name Satellite because it's basically located on the Space Coast and this is where NASA shoots up rockets and launches uh, satellites uh, into orbit. Now the area of Satellite Beach is obviously known for its beach lifestyle, so very, very laid back, beautiful, long, uh, sandy beaches, a lot of surfing, and uh, just a great place, um, you know, to live that uh, beachy lifestyle, the Florida beachy lifestyle. Now, if you're going to be anywhere near Satellite Beach and want to get some reps in, I highly recommend you visit the highly rated CrossFit in Cocoa Beach. You will not be disappointed. Tell them I sent you. So Satellite Beach is kind of a small town. They have about 11,500 residents. And as far as violent crime, they come in at 0.3 and property crime is around four. So very, very good numbers as far as uh, safety is concerned. Now, as far as your housing costs in Satellite Beach, your median home value is right around $300,000 and your median rent is gonna be right around $1,500 per month. Now, this is gonna bring us to number two in the list and that is the city of Weston. Now the city of Weston is voted as the number one place to live in all of Broward County. Uh, it's also won awards by Money Magazine, People Magazine, USA Today, a uh, very, very award-winning uh, city. Now the city of Weston is uh, bordered by the Florida Everglades and it's kind of like the furthest Weston part of Broward County, but still not too far, maybe um, 20, 25 minutes to downtown Fort Lauderdale, about 30 minutes to the beach, 20 minutes to the airport, so really not that far out of the way. Now the city of Weston is uh, known for its uh, really uh, picturesque and very beautiful master plan communities, a lot of gated communities and also very good schools and known obviously for its safety. Now the city of Weston has a population of around 33,000 residents. Violent crimes comes in at 0.5 and property crime comes in at 4.3. Now, as far as your housing costs in Weston, your median home value is right around $481,000 and your median rent is right around $2,100 per month. Now, jumping to number three in the list is the city of Parkland. Now the city of Parkland comes in as number two in best places to raise a family in Broward County. Now Parkland is located in the north uh, western corner of Broward County. Now the city of Parkland gets its name because it's full of parks. So Parkland has just a bunch of different parks, um, all kinds of nature trails, walkways, uh, plenty of places uh, for sports of all different kinds. Now the city of Parkland is more of a, a wealthy area with a higher price point kind of like a more of a suburban area, similar to Weston, but a little more uh, expensive and has a lot of gated communities as well. Great schools and obviously very, very safe as well. Now the city of Parkland also has about 33,000 residents and as far as violent crimes, the number is one and property crimes comes in with a number seven. Now, as far as your housing costs in Parkland, uh, your median home value is right around $610,000 and your median rent is right around $2,500 per month. And this is gonna bring us to number four on the list, and that is North Palm Beach.
So Palm Beach is voted as number 38 in best places to retire in the entire country. So not only is Palm Beach, um, you know, very, very safe, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, in uh, North Palm Beach. Uh, just by its location, right along the Atlantic Ocean. Um, beautiful, beautiful views of the beach. Um, you know, a lot of marinas, beautiful boats and big yachts. So absolutely breathtaking in my opinion. Uh, I don't know anybody that's been to North Palm Beach and didn't think it was absolutely beautiful. Now, if you're in North Palm Beach at the right time of year, you'll be able to check out some uh, sea turtles hatching on the beach. You might be able to see a manatee swimming as well. Now, also, if you like golfing, I definitely recommend you check out the North Palm Beach Country Club. Um, incredible world-class uh, golf course, but uh, just make sure you have some credit left on your credit card because it is expensive. So uh, uh, definitely account for that. Now, North Palm Beach is also uh, kind of a small city. The population is around 13,000 residents. Uh, violent crime comes in with a number one and property crime comes in uh, with a number eight. Now, as far as your housing costs in North Palm Beach, if you're not in the luxury market or right on the ocean, it's gonna be around $300,000 uh, median home value and as far as your median rent comes in right around fifteen hundred dollars per month and last but not least guys to round out the list at number five is cooper city now cooper city is in a great location it's just south of the center uh, in Broward County. So uh, you're located right next to I-595, close to the Turnpike, I-95. So uh, commuting anywhere throughout South Florida to see the sights or even internationally. Airport is uh, 10, 15 minutes from Cooper City. Uh, Miami is about, you know, 30, 40 minutes. Uh, Palm Beach, same. So a uh, very, very convenient location uh, here in Cooper City. Now we've done videos on just about all these cities. So if you wanna get some more detailed information, I'll put a link down in the description to each of those videos. We've done a recent one uh, about Cooper City. Now the population of Cooper City comes in right around 37,000 residents. Uh, violent crime comes in with the number one and uh, property crimes comes in at right around 8.8. So as far as your housing costs in Cooper City, the median home value is right around $378,000 and your median rent comes right in at around $1,800 per month. So that's going to round out our list, guys, uh, five of the safest cities to live in the entire state of Florida. Now, again, with any of this information, uh, this just comes from public records, um, FBI stats, census, um, things like that. So uh, only uh, tells you part of the picture. Very, very hard to determine uh, how an area is going to suit you just by looking online and pulling up stats as far as safety and crime. I know plenty of other areas in Broward County, in South Florida, that don't rank very highly as far as stats when it comes to crime or schools and i know plenty of people that live in them including me and have no problems so again the thing is do your research and then you got to get down here and actually get boots on the ground and tour these neighborhoods tour these cities to see for yourself if it's going to be a fit for you and your family so i hope this information was helpful i appreciate you watching and as always if you have any questions about any of the cities we spoke about in this video or on this channel, uh, you can reach out to me 24 seven and I look forward to helping you find that perfect place you might be thinking of moving to or just wanna go see. Again, all you gotta do is reach out. My information is down in the description and I look forward to helping you with your transition and your moves to South Florida. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.